Tesla, the world's largest electric vehicle EV, market, has faced growing concerns over data security in China. The country's densely populated cities and 1.42 billion population have led to a 50% YOY increase in Tesla sales in 2022. However, concerns over the potential collection of sensitive data by Tesla sensors and cameras, particularly in Shanghai, have led to a ban on military personnel and state-owned enterprise employees from purchasing Tesla vehicles. This move underscores the growing concern over data security in the EV market, particularly in the context of Tesla's American status. Tesla, the world's largest car market, was forced to cease operations in China in 2021 due to concerns over location monitoring and surveillance. Despite Tesla's technological capabilities, the Chinese government banned all Tesla electric vehicles from government compounds and agencies. Elon Musk promised to cease operations if Tesla was found spying on drivers, but the Chinese government continued to express reservations about Tesla's onboard cameras and sensors. Tesla plans to establish a dedicated data center in China to address data privacy concerns and ensure secure handling and storage of data generated by Tesla vehicles. The company also proposes a new platform for vehicle owners, allowing them greater control over their vehicle's data. In August 2023, a Chinese airport banned Tesla vehicles from parking on its premises, underscoring the complexities of international business in the age of data and surveillance concerns and Tesla's decision to cease operations in China. Tesla has been banned from a Chinese airport due to confidentiality concerns over its sentry mode security feature, which uses the car's external cameras to monitor and detect suspicious activities when unattended. This feature is designed to protect against potential break-ins and thefts. Tesla clarified that data generated by sentry mode is stored offline on a USB device inside the car, and neither the car owner nor Tesla can remotely view the vehicle's surroundings online. Users must manually activate sentry mode within the car's system settings, and a USB flash drive is required for recording. Tesla has faced criticism for its use of the feature, which requires users to bear full responsibility for their actions. However, the relationship between Tesla and the Chinese government is generally positive, with Tesla being the first foreign automaker to own a car manufacturing facility in China without forming a joint venture with a state-owned company. Elon Musk has adopted a diplomatic stance in addressing Chinese matters, praising the Chinese people for their technological enthusiasm while refraining from public criticism of the Chinese government. Some evidence suggests that the Chinese government may not have a negative attitude towards Tesla, as one airport in central China lifted a ban preventing Tesla cars from entering its parking lots after clarification on its sentry mode, which captures video footage while parked. Tesla vehicles are now allowed in the airport's public parking lots, but they are still prohibited from entering the parking lots within the airport's office area. Apple is one of the few major American tech companies maintaining a substantial presence in China. Tesla, Apple, and Apple are all grappling with data privacy and internet regulations in China. Apple's App Store requires careful monitoring to ensure developers comply with complex internet regulations. Tesla, which plans to introduce a self-driving feature in China in 2023, faces a new challenge in data separation. The company must train AI systems using foreign user data while not exporting it back to the home country. This restricts the ability to refine AI algorithms with drivers' data sources and raises concerns about intellectual property protection. Tesla must decide how to handle this situation to maintain its position in the world's largest car market. I respect continuing to wait until the finish line. For more videos about the most recent automotive news like this, please consider subscribing to Car Time.